here at the famous shop. Got my car on the dyno over there. Just threw the stock intake back on. Just waiting for my tuner to show up. Hit me with a new tune, 93 pump. I'll eventually go ethanol, but as of right now, I'm gonna stay on the 93 pump, just mostly because ethanol is not available in my area, so. Got a whole bunch of badass cars here, 5.0 and 3. Got a GT350 back there. Got another Supra. This one's running R triple eight R's, and also has an aftermarket exhaust. It's got the roof wrap black, which is nice. not too long ago cruising in comfort mode with the traction control off trying to save some gas on the way home but uh, I'm trying to give you my thoughts on what happened today so if you guys uh, are not, not up to date I used to have the MST uh, intake the version 2 and um, it was a really great intake uh, for the time being when I was running in colder weather but uh, I started to notice when I was running in hotter weather like it is uh, today today is 90 degrees Fahrenheit um, when I noticed I was running it for longer drives, I take this car on a lot of road trips, and anytime I was driving for any longer than like a half hour, 45 minutes, I would notice that um, my car would start to get too hot, you know, and then it would start to heat soak. Uh, and if you guys never experienced heat soaking, it's pretty much your car almost goes into like a limp mode type feature where you're not getting your full power. So um, that's something that I was noticing with the MSD intake. Uh, I never had a problem with it until this summer came around and we had a really hot summer. So. Um, I went back to the shop today and I had the stock intake put back on. And um, I used to make 450, uh, well, to be exact, it was 448 uh, wheel horsepower and 478 wheel torque. And after going back to the stock intake, I made 433 wheel horsepower and 500 wheel torque. So essentially what I lost in horsepower, I gained in torque. And um, my tune is a lot kind of more low, low end uh, oriented now. Um, and the, I can say right now that the car feels a lot smoother. Uh, it's not a lot smoother just directly because of the MST intake, but I believe it has to do with the heat soaking that my car is experiencing. Also something new that I learned today, um, my tuner told me that when you're in sport mode and you have trax control on, that if your first gear feels a little boggy, that's actually a safety setting that was built into the car and it can't be tuned out. Um, the only way that you can get that feeling away is if you have trax control off, all the way off. Um, and you do that by holding the traction button for like three or four seconds to get it completely off. But um, 
that's something that I didn't know, and I was kind of curious as to why my first gear felt a little boggy on takeoff. Uh, like it felt like it needed a lot more throttle than I should have been giving it. And I thought there was something wrong with my tune, but it turns out that's actually a safety setting with the car. So something new that I learned today and something I should pass on to any MK5 owners, just in case you feel like that's uh, something that's going on with your car as well. How's it going, guys? This is a couple hours later after I got my, uh, my new tune revision. Uh, driving home now, so after I got my tune, I drove uh, two hours home and the car did perfect. There's definitely no blips. The car feels absolutely amazing now. Um, definitely a big difference from going from the MSD intake to the stock intake. There's a lot more low end torque, so I feel like the MSD intake was just sucking in a little bit too much air and hot air from the engine bay to, to, for the least matter. So I'll give you guys a little acceleration. 